There's nobody in this ship, by the way. It's just having a party. Yep, we're still colliding. Surprised the game hasn't teleported it yet. Hmm. I think I might just put it out of its misery because it's not going anywhere. Warping out of collision, but it's not warping out of collision. Okay. So for this we'll do DES tab. And then I'll fly over here and spawn another one. And hopefully it won't get stuck. There we go. Right then, <clears throat> welcome back. Today I just want to show you a few more models. Like I say, smell it Sunday. So, this is the Agamem Aga Agamemnon class from the Gundam series. And it is a mech launching carrier. Uh, the detailing is still to be done, but this is where the Gundams get launched out. You can just about see... Oh, there we go. See, there's a pretty bit, there's a lot of room in here for me to build a hangar. There'll be a pulse launcher. Uh, we've discussed this at length with the guys. I'm going to recreate these turrets, make them movable. The moment the placeholder. Right. Stick some nice thrusters on the back. Lovely job. So, um, I can't remember exactly which series this one is from, but the name is the Agamemnon. Okay. So there it is, nice little carrier. And then over here from Gundam Seed, this is the Zaft uh, Nazca class. So you'll notice, you'll recognize these. And we're gonna recreate the turrets as well. They've come out really well, but they're gonna be very easy to replicate in Star Made. Uh, little tip, um, put the docking enhancer in and then put symmetry down and actually r remove or put, put the blocks over where these are and then it'll put them on this side in the right place but anyway um, moving up here that's where the pulse is going to be just here so that we can actually use the launcher use the launching rail because um, it uses uh, some kind of magnetic rail system on this one two more turrets up top and I think it's got some more. Yeah, two large turrets there. And then we've got the engines at the back. Uh, I believe that that is also a docking bay. We've got a little hangar in the side. So that's that one. The Nazca class from Gundam Seed, which is very nice. And now moving down next to my The Last Exile uh, Oops, van ship. We have, I believe, the Queen Rose. And um, I hope I'm showing this the right, I don't think I'm showing this the right way up. Hang on. That's, is that right? I'm getting confused. Could have sworn it didn't have a, I could have sworn it's this way up. Yeah, I think it is this way up. But anyway, you've got two hangers on each side. Moving back. Hmm. And a hollow interior. So just give you an idea how big each hangar is. That's one. There's two of them. There's another mech carrier. So say this ship will be nice when it's finished uh, <clears throat> I can't believe that's the one I'm gonna do last because it's uh, got a lot of potential so anyway there's the, the Queen Rose from Gundam's year one the van ship from the last exile a whole bunch of Gundams for 
people to recolor in whatever style they so choose. People especially like the mace. So I just give that one an extra, extra look at. <laughs> and then of course up top oh yeah true then there's the gift I made for Dalmont so looking at this one again the Agamemnon quite a sleek design and then the Nazca class and finally Another ship from the last exile. Let's just get this the right way up. There were some collisions, but uh, here we are. So this is a, a steampunk warship from the last exile. Uh, the coloring came out like this. I'm not entirely sure why the coloring came out like this, but I'm gonna do a recolor on it, I believe. We've got turrets, lots of turrets, because it's steampunk. <laughs> Really interesting turret designs. Command tower. And the coolest thing was these were atmospheric ships. So they had these giant compressed air or steam funnels at the bottom to keep them going. I think they were like armored airships with like balloons inside the uh, inside the main body but I, ha I haven't watched enough of the show to really understand the technology I've only I saw it the other night someone in the community recommended it to me and I was like wow so I immediately went out found a few models got some editing and uh, gave this one back to the guy as a gift because you know this is a really cool ship And uh, like I say, I want to build a smaller version of my van ship. This is the first one. And um, if you look at the SketchUp, you can find it quite easily because there aren't many. Go onto the SketchUp warehouse and look up van ship. And you'll, uh, you'll see the colors. I've tried to emulate the color scheme. I've still got a little bit of detail to do on the tail and the wheels, put the systems in. But you'll see that in a later update. Nice little note about the Queen Rose. Check out the engines. These engines look really nice at a distance. So, you know, it's interesting. So then, from the Gundams and all my smedited creations, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>